Hello, so this is the Joe Good Performance Group QuickBooks Time Training How to Video for Supervisors to Approve Their Employees' Hours. Hello, I'm David Mack. This is Dustin Magidson, our colleague here uh, and our QuickBooks point person who's going to navigate us through this. So we're sharing screen. So yes, we have shared with our employees how to enter their hours. So once they've entered their hours through QuickBooks Time System, it will now be for you all as admin access holders to approve the time of your members of which you are the lead. So for teaching artists, dancers, front of house, production people, technicians, et cetera. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so you go into QuickBooks through your credentials, you have admin access, so you should see, uh, and does is it payroll or time? Which one are we clicking on to approve people's? We're going to payroll. Thank you. So yeah, so you'll see on the left-hand sidebar payroll, you click onto that. And then you see Dustin gone into this overview and you'll see the shortcuts and you'll see approved time second down from the left-hand side column. So that's the one you wanna click on on here. You should see for the appropriate time period, which should be the most recent or current pay period in which you are in. It will show all of the employees, it should show a list of all the employees that have submitted hours to be approved. You see the view by employee and the status all, so make sure that's what's selected so that you can see all the employees or, or may perhaps need, need review as well. Um, we'll give you that list. And so you'll be able to click on, you see the action item approve, you'll be able to click on that for every employee for which you are the supervisor of on that list who submitted hours. If you don't see them on this list, chance are they haven't submitted hours yet. So if you know they've worked and they haven't submitted, then you should reach out to them via email. But if they're on here and they've worked, then you can go ahead and click that approve button on the right hand side action under action column there. Uh, you can do that. If you want to take a more itemized look at it, you can click into their um, into their specific hours and look at it line by line. So this got day, it. And so for that, you just click thing. anywhere on the row, right? Yes. Okay. And so you can see the good thing about QuickBooks Time is it does automatically calculate over time, which it'll tell us by this little symbol here. Since I put in 10 hours, uh, you can see it automatically put in two hours into overtime. Um, you can, uh, you can delete, uh, days here, but you cannot, uh, make adjustments in this system. So if we do need to make adjustments, we're going to approve this. And then it should, uh, automatically transfer it over to the weekly timesheets, which we should already know how to get to, but no. And then weekly timesheets. You can also approve time from here, which I just learned. And there we go. So it transferred it into this weekly timesheet. Um, and we can make our adjustments here. Say I for I forgot about an hour. I can change it right there. Uh uh, if it, if it was the wrong class, I can change it right here as well. Um, if it was the wrong pay item, that I'll just need to create a new line item for, but still very simple. For example, I'll change this one to be, let's say it was a front of house shift. And then I would just delete this. So there we go. Um, that's how you would make adjustments, uh, to, uh, to the, to the timesheets. Great. And also if people are putting in mileage reimbursement, we've asked the employees to put that in the note section. So that should appear on that last approved time tab that Dustin had opened there where it had the row where you could approve time. Once you click on that row and you go through that scroll down of the different various hours that people have entered. The, in the notes box, it should also be information where they've entered their mileage reimbursement. And then you'll copy and paste that information onto the run payroll sheet uh, so that then the 
final lead who's running payroll will be able to see all the mileage reimbursement for all the employees entered in that box. And yeah, that's the, this is what the view that Dustin is showing us here, that mileage reimbursement. So you click on the box of the employee that we're adding the mileage reimbursement for, and you add in whatever amount that they claimed in the notes section of their QuickBooks timesheet. And then you click save for later to make sure that that is saved for the lead, the person who's running payroll that particular pay period. A good thing to do is to just go back to run payroll again, that run payroll sheet and check to make sure that your mileage reimbursement was saved because you know sometimes there's little quirks that come up with the computer systems and they don't like to save everything. But here you see it was wonderfully saved. And so then you can X out of that or save it again and you're good to go with the mileage reimbursement. So other things as Dustin was mentioning to check as you're looking at that approved time review, check to make sure people would put in the correct amount of hours that you know that they worked for that pay period, make sure that the time codes are correct. Sometimes people might accidentally do unpaid time off instead of paid time off or might not put in their paid sick leave or their vacation pay or holiday pay if they qualify. So make sure that those time codes are looking correct, make sure they're in the correct class and make sure that it's the correct pay item that they are putting in. Because as you all know, different pay items are connected to different pay rates. So we wanna make sure that everybody's pay rates are correct for the type of work that they are doing. And if note, as Dustin was mentioning in terms of making manual adjustments after the QuickBooks time pay is approved, also, if any employees email you, we've asked them to email you if they realize after a pay period is over and they've been paid that they accidentally didn't submit all of their hours or they realize they actually worked more hours than they were paid. We've asked them to email that information to you so that you can then go ahead and make those changes manually on weekly timesheets so that that gets into a run payroll sheet and make sure then you notify the lead payroll submitter so that they can run a special payroll for that employee. I think that's all that we have to say about approving time. Is there anything else, Dustin? I think we got it. Beautiful. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the work in this transition to QuickBooks time and hope it's very successful for you. Any technical difficulties, email your supervisor. And other than that, enjoy paying your employees. Take care. Bye.